for the next few minutes, we will show you how to share a company file with remote data access. Note, the steps in this video are for new remote data access users. If you've previously used Sage Drive and Sage 50 Accounting Canadian Edition 2020.1 or earlier, you will need to migrate your company file from Sage Drive to remote data access. Migration steps are outlined in the video entitled Remote Data Access Migrating from Sage Drive 2020.1 to Remote Data Access 2020.2, which can be accessed from the notes section below this video or via knowledge base article number 105572, How to Migrate from Sage Drive to Remote Data Access, accessible from the sagekb.com. How to share a company file using remote data access. Remote data access setup is performed from the computer where you currently have Sage 50 accounting installed, where you are the data owner and have access to the most current copy of your Sage 50 company data file. To share the company data file using remote data access, go to File, Remote Data Access. The Remote Data Access dropdown will allow you to perform remote data access related tasks. Start by selecting Share Company. Alternatively, you can go directly to the Setup Users and Roles window, as this window is the first pop-up, and here you will click Share Again. The first time you share a company file using Remote Data Access, you'll be prompted through the Remote Data Access Setup Wizard. This wizard will walk you through connecting your Sage ID to the company data file. The Sage ID is an email address and password that has been set up with the Sage ID service. It is not your client ID or the email address that Sage has on file or other IDs that you have used previously with Sage, as well as establishing a system admin password if you do not already have one. Click Get Started in the Setup or Onboarding Wizard pop up. The next step confirms you are the right person. It reads, are you the right person to connect this company? If you are the system administrator and or you manage the company data, backups and users, go ahead and connect. Your Sage ID will be connected to this Sage 50 company and you will be considered the data owner. If you are not the data owner, click cancel here and communicate with the business owner or person who manages or owns the company data file. If you are the data owner, click yes, I am the right person on this screen. In the third step, you can review and update your company information. This information should match the fields in Sage 50 under settings, company information. Note that any changes you make here will be saved back to the company file. Click confirm. In the next step, you'll be prompted to log in with your Sage ID. If you do not already have a Sage ID, enter the email address you want to use to create a new Sage ID, and you'll be prompted for next steps. It is best practice for the Sage ID or email address to stay with the data file owner. An employee and or bookkeeper should not use their Sage ID or email to share a company file, as they are not the owner of the data. If the service relationship ends or the employee leaves, their Sage ID or email address and the data ownership would go with them. If you are responsible for sharing company data file on behalf of a business owner, the person or entity who owns the data, please create an email address unique to that business. If you ever part ways, the email address and Sage ID can be handed over to the business owner. Once your Sage ID is confirmed, you'll be prompted to enter the password. Click Login. The following screen will appear. It may take a few minutes while the company data is added to the remote data access service. The final screen confirms your company file has been set up, is connected to remote data access, and is ready to be shared with other users. You must click Finish here. If you click anything else on this window, you will need to click Share again later and redo the above steps you will be able to add users after clicking Finish. To learn more about Remote Data Access multi-user setup and user management,
please reference the notes section below this video and or knowledge base article number 105521, Remote Data Access Multi-User Setup via sagekb.com. Congratulations, you have now shared a company using the Remote Data Access Service.